Hello everybody, this is Spiker from uh, ps3hacks.net forums. Again, I'm going to show you a new video here that actually shows that my PS3 button, my PS3 eject button actually does work because I've heard a lot of controversy about that. So here, uh, I'm going to put the, the disc in. Now see, the controller's right there. I'm not even going to touch it. I'll leave it right there. Just so you can see. It does it the eject button does work. I'll show you again. PS3 controller's right there. See, it's not even up on my screen. I press the eject button and Assassin's Creed comes out. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over to the I'm using a Logitech keyboard just so you guys can see. I'm gonna go down to system settings. Go down to default system and other ice other OS. Now while it's doing that. So this might take a second. Oh my bad. How do you eject that to run? Okay, let's see. As you guys can see. Okay, now let me put this down really quick. Okay, now so you can see I just I'm going back into the PS3 operating system. Now, I'm making sure there's no cuts in this video, just so you guys can see that I'm not actually, I'm not pulling your guys' leg. Okay. Put the disc back in. I'm trying to do it with my right hand. Alright, now, remember how earlier the eject button didn't work? Look at now. Or, I mean, it did work. Look at it. It's not working now, see what I mean? This is the exploit I was talking about. Now here, I'll show you this. If I go up, oh, I'm gonna turn it on. Now if I go up to Assassin's Creed and eject disc, it ejects it perfectly fine. Now I just wanted to show you guys this so you guys didn't, so you guys actually believe me when I actually do exploits, okay? I'm not trying to pull your guys' legs.